All righty. Derek, the Black Beast Lewis. This is a fighter that you guys have been asking me. Oh, look. My opponent is going with random fighter select, which I like that. But there are two reasons why I'm actually using Derek Lewis for this video. Um, one is you guys have been requesting that I use Derek Lewis. His performance in the last fight was really, really nice. So, excuse me. We're going to get a few fights in with Derek Lewis. The second reason is because um, there's actually a kid at the jiu-jitsu gym. I go to at Casares Jiu-Jitsu here in Cary, North Carolina. Really nice kid. And he asked me specifically to try to get a fight in the heavyweight division with Derek Lewis. And he wants me to get a submission win. He wants a submission with a fighter who is not known for submission. So, <laughs> I'm going to try to do uh, four fights today. And in one of these fights, I'm going to try to get a submission win. I don't care how I do it. I don't care what submission I get. I just want a submission, so. All right, he's pushing me a little bit. Be very careful, there we go, he's rocked. Woo, my God. See, Derrick Lewis is so powerful in this weight class, you really don't have to do much. Honestly, like, in terms of how many shots you have to land, you really don't have to land too many shots. There you go. Rocked again. It's pretty much the same with Ngunna. Right there, rocked him again. I mean, we've just been rocking them non-stop. Mm-hmm. There we go. Big mistake. The fight's over. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. You do not... If there's anyone in this game that you do not want to throw roundhouse kicks like that, and get hit with a with a ducking hook. It is Derrick Lewis, cause you're you're gonna get KO'd. It's a KO every time. He hits too hard. He hits too goddamn hard. Boom! Beautiful left hook, and the fight is over. Didn't even give me a chance to have to go to a submission for a submission on this one. But let's move it on. Let's keep it going. Br brutal KO. Let's move on. All right, this is going to be very interesting. We're going to have to be really, really careful with this one. Take our time. We're facing Alexander Gustafsson. He can be very tough to fight depending on how good the player is. Thank you. Um, the biggest thing to worry about in terms of Derek Lewis, honestly, is st his stamina. So we're just going to have to be very careful with that. And by being careful with that, we're just going to have to pick our shots. Make sure that every single shot that we're landing, like we're not whiffing. Because uh, that, that'll be a big, a big problem. Like if you're whiffing too much with Derek Lewis, I mean, you're going to gas out really, really quick. So, trying to make sure at least we're making contact with the block. Are you serious? Are you serious, big, big hug? Big hug A6, big hugger 6. Trying to take me down, bro? Really? All right. <laughs> this corner is telling him to take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. There we go. Be very careful. Okay, there's a... Oh, that, dude, that spin was nasty, bro. Like, that really took quite a lot out of... Out of my uh, stamina right there. You guys see that? Took a chunk out of it. <clears throat> there we go. And that's the kind of shot that you don't want to get hit by. Over and over again by Derek Lewis. That right hook right there. You don't want to take that too much.
All right. There's a shot, another shot. Maybe he's gonna make it easy for me to, uh, to try to get that submission. Perhaps. Maybe he heard that there's a kid that wants me to get a submission with Derek Lewis. <laughs> a nice fake. He faked the uh, he faked the lead leg kick and actually went for the same exact shot. Oh my god! Don't like, yeah. I don't like these knees. He's landing to my body and these kicks. He's landing to the body because it's really got him. Dude, getting hit by body shots. When you're using Derek Lewis, it, it really feels different. Because, like, you just know every single one of these body shots is really uh, reducing the chances of you winning. Because it just saps you of stamina so much. And you guys will notice how, like, careful I'm being. I'm really, really not throwing too much. Like I said, it's because I know the danger. The biggest danger you're going to face when using Derek Lewis is that of stamina. You know, he is going to gas out so fast if you uh, if you just let your hands go over and over and over again. You gotta pick you gotta pick the right time, thank you. Right time, right spots to let your hands go. It's gotta be pe periodic, it can't be like constant. There we go. Oh my god, I don't like that shot. Oh, oh, that was pain. That was painful, bro. Okay, time to side start, side, uh, side stepping. Rocked. Time to start side stepping. Since you want to do that, bro. Be careful. Another one, beautiful, relax. You guys will notice even when I rock. Oh my God. That did not go as planned. <laughs> I was about to say, you guys can see that even when I rock them, I don't go crazy. And I literally got dropped as I was about to say that. Here, you gotta be very careful not to waste too much stamina. Man, a huge part of using Derek Lewis is literally stamina management, just managing his energy. And I think it's the same thing even in real life when he fights. I mean, this dude, he's. Mm. On record, he has said he doesn't want five round fights. On record. After his last fight, he even said it. God damn. Got him. Yeah, let's strike. After his last fight, he even said that he doesn't even want a championship fight. He's like, don't call me. Unless you guys can figure out a way to change the rules and make it three rounds, don't call me. He doesn't want a five-round fight at all. Very rarely do you see fighters, you know, that honest. Cause he's like, man, my stamina is better, but it's still not five rounds worthy. And I just don't know if Derek Lewis is the type of guy that will ever actually get his stamina. Like, I don't think he's ever really gonna get to a a condition in where he could actually go hard five rounds. I really don't think so. All right, like most fighters would be begging and pleading and demanding a title shot. This dude is over here like, don't call my phone. <laughs> don't call my phone asking me if I want to fight the champion unless you guys make changes. Unless you, unless you guys can turn the championship fights into a three-round fight. Don't call my phone. 
Of course, I'm pretty sure if they called Derek Lewis and they were like, look, Francis Ngannou is no longer able to fight or Cyril Gan is not able to fight. We want you to fill in. I'm pretty sure he would say, yeah, I mean, nobody really turns down a championship fight unless you're the champion. But like, if you're not the champion, I mean, like, nobody really turns that down. Let's sit him down. Beautiful. Rock again. Oh boy, got a bad whiff. <laughs> got him again. Oh boy, his head is so damaged right now, man. I think any little shot we land is going to result in a drop. Check that. Another one. Beautiful jab straight. Yeah, it's only a matter of time now, folks. It is only a matter of time. Yeah, you need to stop throwing these spin kicks and these teeps to the body. Because I'm looking to sidestep all of them. Another one, jab straight. Yeah, this man is very, and he's taking quite a few risks. Even though his head is so damaged, he's still trying to spin. This is the last thing you should be doing when your head is this damaged because any little sidestep, any little shift, and you whiff, I mean, that's it. Fight over, fight done. That's it. Oh, beautiful. Slip, slip straight, and the fight is over. What can I say? That is exactly how I like it. Donzo, that was a really good performance. Um, really enjoyed the way we were uh, able to keep it really clean. Look at that, boom. Beautiful overhand. And the fight is done. Slip into the right hook. And the fight is over. All right, we're going to keep it moving. We have one more to go. And I'm going to see if I can get... Well, we'll see. See what happens. You guys are about to see the weirdo I'm about to fight right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'll say this dude is. This is a werewolf. What is like what is what is this? What is this? What is up with your face, bro? Maybe I can strangle this guy. Alright. Oh. Okay. Oh, got to be careful with this one. He's trying to get tricky. You guys will notice he's doing the uh, the cross into the lunging, you know, into the lean-in jab. And that lean-in jab is going to cause a hit reaction, and from that hit reaction... He could go into other stuff. He could go into a head kick. He could go into a, a different punch. But some players are starting to figure out a way to be very tricky with those leaning punches. This is another guy that I'm going to start rocking very soon. Because he's leaving himself open with some of the shots he's trying to throw. There. Oh, got him. Beautiful overhand. That was a weird rock. I want to see if I can use more overhands against this man. Yeah, this player is just trying to be very tricky with me. He's moving his head and then 
trying to follow up with a strike to try to trick me. See that? Yeah, very tricky. But a lot of times, the way you deal with these tricky players is to just fight through it. It's what I say about feints all the time. You know, you can't, you can't get into a scenario where you're watching them. You know, it's just not gonna do you any favor sitting there. What? Oh God, he got me. Uh huh. Shouldn't have done that, buddy. Do not tee off on the black beast's body. Relax. Notice how when I rock him, I'm not going nuts because I see him moving his head. And a lot of times, players will gas themselves out after a rock because they try to tee off on the opponent, not noticing that the opponent is sitting there bobbing their head. Nah. If you get... If you start trying to hit him after you rock him and he's moving his head, you could really spend a lot of short-term stamina and long-term stamina. So, very nice to uh, recognize. Okay, when I rock this guy, he sits there bobbing his head all over the place, so either... Look at this. Look at this face. What is this? <laughs> when you rock the opponent... Um, and you see them bobbing their head all over the place. It's always nice. It's always good. It's better to... Oh, this is where he rocked me. Nice. Very well timed. Notice that they're bobbing their head and then go to the body. You could go to the body or you could try to track the head movement a little bit better as opposed to just cycling through your regular combos after you rock an opponent. Here we go. He's got the TJ Dillashaw uh, Fighter Idol, which also comes with a TJ Dillashaw movement set. So, there we go. Rock him. Now, right there. Yeah. If you guys make a calf and you assign him the TJ Dillashaw Idol, you also get the lunge that TJ does. Set him down. All right, let's see if we can grapple a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on. There we go. Let's woo, take his back. Okay, all right, so build and grapple advantage. Just tap him a little bit, nothing too crazy. Let's see if we can tap him out a little bit. No. We'll be fine. He'll be all right. All the nigga really need is a little bit. Come on. No, he's fine. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. We can head to the crib in a little bit. I can show you how I live in a little bit. You wanna unbutton your pants just a little bit. Take them off, pull them down just a little bit. Get a kiss. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grapple him just a little bit. Oh, I, oh I, wish I, I wish I could like hit him with my pelvis right there. Like that fighter in the last, uh, in the last card. You guys remember what I'm talking about? Tell me you remember what I'm talking about. EA, we need that. We need that. Hit him with the groin. Go to north, south, and boom. Hit him with the groin. No, where do you think you're going? Oh, that's the longest. That was the longest, longest sweep attempt I've seen in a long time. Umbar, umbar, umbar. There's nothing there. All right, grapple just a little bit. Ready 
Come on. Ah, ah, got him. Beautiful overhand. Just a, just a little bit. Just a, just a little bit of overhanding. Ah, <laughs> how you like that? Just a little bit of overhanding. Step up in the club and I'm like, who you with? E unit in the house. Yeah, that's my clip. Yeah, I'm young, but a nigga. In the old school, on the dance floor, nigga doing old moves. I don't give a fuck, I do what I want, do what you ass up, boy, I don't want you. Better listen when I talk, nigga, don't trip. Hey, don't need me. Don't hit me with knees. Don't like that. Another overhand. Another overhand. There we go. Side control. Here we go, side saddle, here we go, here we go, I would like to take his back, alright, see if we can go to, uh, oh shit, okay, let's go to back side, put the knee on the hip, and we've got his back, nice seat belt grip, he's gonna try to go to back, nope, denied, aha, you fucked up buddy, you fucked up. Give it to me. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's fine. Oh, he's gonna get out. <gasps> we got it! We got the sub. We got the submission. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. I really wanted to get the submission for this kit. Oh my freaking God. Yes, we did. Here we go. Derek, the Black Beast Lewis. I get submissions. Uh, I guess jujitsu actually works. It actually works. Took his back. Beautiful rear naked choke. Got the arm trapped right there. Got that left arm trapped. And choked out a werewolf. We strangled a werewolf. That's how we're going to title the video. Ran into a werewolf and we strangled him. Get us a nice, nice thumbnail in there. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And that will do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the fighter showcase. Hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday. Um, we'll probably see if we can upload two videos today. I'm not sure if I can, but see if I, I'll do my very best to do that. But that is it. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.